could say, in a sense, you're different when you're saved because you have a new creature, a new spirit born inside of you. But if you don't let that manifest itself outwardly, you could just look the same as the rest of the world. And you're not going to be peculiar in anybody's eyes. Okay, and what I'm going to be teaching out with these doctrines are specific issues or items or doctrines that have to do with our outward appearance, what people can see visibly on the outside. Now, intermingled with that, as we continue on week after week, I'm going to be preaching other doctrines, other things that we just believe that it's not necessary as an outward manifestation. But what I'm going to be focusing on this morning, this evening, and then continuing on are multiple things that we believe that should demonstrate themselves outwardly. That if you follow God's word, if you're obeying all of God's commandments, then you will be peculiar in the world's eyes. Now, you can follow some of God's commandments and not be peculiar. For example, thou shalt not kill. Okay, there's nothing peculiar about obeying that commandment. Or you say, well, I'm obeying God's laws. I'm obeying commandments. I'm not killing anybody. Okay, yeah, that's not very peculiar. But as we get into all of God's word and all of his laws and all of his testimonies and all of his statutes, then you start getting into areas where the world's just like, whoa, no, that's weird. And, you know, the world changes. The world's constantly changing. There's, you know, cultures change, values change, morality changes. Even in my short lifetime, my 40 years in this country, morality has changed significantly for the worse. I mean, we've gone way down the tubes. It's, it's incredible how much change can happen in such a short period of time, yet so many people are practically oblivious to it because they just keep getting carried along with the world and just whatever. Oh, this is, oh, can you believe that's the way things used to be just 20 years ago? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, but they were believing the same thing. Why? Because so many people just brainwash and just believe whatever it is that media is going to tell them or that the world is going to fill their brain with. Now, all of a sudden, this is wrong and this is right and this just flip-flopping back and forth. And they have no solid source of truth. But we have a solid source of truth. So if you're following all of God's laws and all of his commandments, there's going to be times where different things that you're obeying in God's law are going to be more peculiar than at other times. And some of the things that I'm going to be preaching about today, what I'm going to be starting off with is gender roles. Because I think out of everything, that seems to jump out more than anything else in our gender-bending, sizzified culture today of just of, of this androgynous and trying to get everybody into this unisex thing it's disgusting it's perverted and you know with all the gender pronouns now and people want to be called by you know it's it's nonsense it's insanity and anymore if you start believing in these in what the god has ordained what god has set forward as far as what men and women should be doing how they should act what their characteristics should be now you're going to be viewed as a peculiar people you're going to be looked on as weird as strange oh what do you mean you're not going to use you're not going to call this woman a him you're not going to call this, this fag a she no i'm not going to i'm not 